Hey everyone, Nick here. On my last Tomahawk build, I got a lot of great suggestions from you guys. So today I'm going to be building another Tomahawk and using some of your suggestions to make it a little better. First I fire up the forge and then place the other half of the farrier's rasp in to let it come up to temperature. Once it's up to an orange color, it's time to start forging. Just like the last tomahawk, I'm forging out an elongated U-shape. I make sure to hammer from one side, only working on the portion that will become the bottom of the tomahawk. That way when we put everything together, the eye will be slightly smaller at the bottom and a little larger at the top. I'm working one side at a time, just trying to get them both to have a nice flared shape to them, almost like an axe head. This is going to give some extra body to the edge and give it a better shape. With the initial forging finished, I take it back to the forge and then use two pairs of pliers to fold it in half. Now as I bend it over, I'm making sure that one side is just a little bit longer than the other. That was one of the suggestions so that the weld doesn't sit exactly in the middle where the edge is. Now I'm using a 3 quarter inch pipe as a drift to start forming the eye of the axe. Now this was another suggestion, forming the eye first so that I can start my weld from the back and then work into the edge of the bit. Hopefully this will produce a better weld. So now I bring it up to heat and apply some flux, making sure to get flux into all of the areas that are going to be joined. Now the flux I'm using is just borax. It's used as a soap and detergent booster that you can find at most grocery stores and it helps to clean the metal it also prevents excess oxidation which could cause problems with the weld once it's coated in flux I put it back in the forge bring it up to heat again and then apply flux one more time I put it back in the forge and crank it up so that I can get the welding heat and to prevent oxygen from getting into the forge. So now I take it back and lightly tack the weld. Now that it's been tacked, I apply flux and repeat this two more times. Now that it's been welded together, I use a cross peen hammer to start to expand the bit. Once the edge is expanded, I apply more flux, then bring it back and flatten everything out. Now that all the major shaping is done, I drive the 3 quarter inch pipe into the eye of the axe and then use it as a handle to finish it up. I'm just straightening it out and making sure that everything is nice and finished. Now here's the head after forging. I just let it cool and then we can start grinding. Now that it's cool, I use my angle grinder to grind the profile of the axe head, grinding the top, the bottom, and the edge. Now with a flap sanding wheel, I grind off all of the scale and bring it down to a nice finish so that it's ready for heat treating. Here's the axe after sanding. You can see that the forge welds came out really nice on this one. So now it's time to put it back into the forge and bring it up to a heat treating temperature. I heat the edge until it no longer sticks to a magnet, then dunk it into a container of canola oil. This will harden the blade, and once it's cooled down a little bit, I pull it out and clean the edge with a file. 
I look for my tempering colors and then put it back in to stop the tempering process. So here it is, hardened and tempered. And then I use a wire brush on my angle grinder to clean up the blade and finish it up. And here's the axe head all finished. Now it's time to work on the handle. I'm using a 16 inch piece of broom handle and this is a large broom handle I got from the local hardware store. So I've gone ahead and shaved it down so that the axe head fits snugly onto it. A few taps with the mallet and the blade seated and ready to go. Here's the tomahawk all finished. So here it is compared to the last tomahawk I forged. You can see that the forge weld is a lot cleaner and it goes almost all the way back to the eye. So here it is. I hope you enjoyed building this along with me today. If you have any suggestions for other things you'd like to see me build, please let me know in the comments below. I really enjoyed reading all of the comments and all the suggestions. And I feel like I was able to create a much better tomahawk this time around with some of the suggestions you guys gave me. So keep it up. Thanks for all your support. If you like this video and like what I'm doing, be sure to check out my channel for other videos like this. And I've also written books on several topics, including knife making. And I'll leave the links to those in the description below. So as always, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.